Hey guys, Jinlux here, back with our blind playthrough of Blasphemous, which... I mean, I guess I realize it's kind of probably him going against the church, but... It does seem like he's chosen by... God, or the Grievous Miracle, or, or whatever. It even says Pilgrimage, right? Convent of Our Lady of the Charred Visage. Where are you going, Jack Baby? Oh my gosh. He was right here in my lap. 14% complete. So we're about... One-sixth of the way through the game, give or take. So it's probably going to be about 30 hours. Although I suspect it'll speed up as we get stronger. Um, Alright. Last time we ran around a little bit... Yeah, we basically went through, I think, all of this and unlocked the shortcut. There's still, I think this is a teleporter, I'm not certain. Um, but there's still these areas with this gas, which is super bad for us. Like, you take a third or a quarter of your health per second. And I don't know if that's based on, I don't know if it's a percentage or if it's a straight amount. All right, uh, but we gotta go up here and through, we gotta go through this whole thing. There's freaking these teleporting ghosts and those are a huge pain in the ass. So, um, I guess get ready to laugh at me. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Like, yar, um, yeah, get, get ready to laugh. So I ended up getting myself like an actual, an actual alcoholic beer. I don't remember the name, it's some sort of... It was one of those big bottles with, like, the, the twist tie on top. Um, it's it's ultimately a triple. Like a Bel Belgian-style ale, I think. It's 9%. It's pretty good. It's still... So, I mean, not in a while, but I've been drinking those uh, non-alcoholic beers. And um, they kind of smell like wet carpet little bit except you know and and then you taste it well regular beer I thought did not this one does so it's just the alcohol taste I think that's the difference which is kind of disappointing I guess that I mean I guess it shows how actually good these non-alcoholic beers are but you know so Yeah, I don't know. It's all right. When you stop drinking for a while and then you go back to it, it's you're just kind of like, eh. Which is how I felt about carbs, strangely enough. Anyway, let's go hopefully survive. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, must you? Hit me twice, I think. Still, still did a lot of damage. A lot, a lot. Ooh. That did a lot. And that works for that dude. I wonder how many hits these things take. Oh, well. Oh, it got me. Oh, my... Jesus Christ! What does Exemplaris mean? I mean, I understand that the bottom one is excommunications. Excommunicationis. Let's look up Exemplaris. The bottom one is like more of a, a Latin thing, I guess. Why is it whenever I open this thing on my phone... Firefox, it needs to reload the page that I'm on. Why? Why is this? Okay. Exemplar is Exemplaris Latin 
noun exemplum, plural exempla, an example. A story demonstrating a moral point, a parable. Exemplary. Uh, and of course, videos from Blasphemous. So, yeah, it's generally not used. Still, I love this. Yeah, this game is great. This game is is really... Man, the pixel art is so fantastic. Most of the design um, is... Like, you could tell what is interactable and what is not, and what is a platform and what is not. That, that is something that's a real problem for a lot of games, um, is is what is a platform that you can jump on and what is not. Uh, that's one of the reasons Carrion really freaking pissed me off. Because that one you can't, you can't tell a lot of the time. And that's just honestly inexcusable. There's this, um, what is the, what is that? Man, what is that game? There's a, an indie game that's in development. It's kind of like Metroid. Zoltar or something like that and there were some of those problems and the dev responded that's one thing I love about indie devs you just do a video on their stuff even with a channel at the time I had I don't know 20 subscribers or something like that and they responded like right away it was awesome I mean don't believe whatever I say you know take everything I say with a grain of salt because I'm like you know 90% full of crap but that's, that's why partially I do the videos with, or, that's why I think it's, oh my god, wait, did I take one hit? You, you have invincibility frames. It doesn't show them, but you have them for... Who knows how long? But no, like if I do... By the way, if you're an indie dev, I mean... I guess the best way is to contact me if you want me to, to play your game is leave me a comment. Um, but I, I don't have a problem playing like indie games and stuff. And and with the camera, you can actually see my reaction. I mean, I'm, I'm mostly kind of stone-faced, but, but whatever. You know, at least then I... Oh, that was awesome. Okay, yes, that thing is... Let's drink one of these. What we're gonna do is we're gonna retrieve our guilt, run back, heal. Yeah, because it's, um... I don't know how far they can teleport, but... Oh, yeah, and then it doesn't... Ah, uh, yes. But, um, whatever that was, and it, it's on the channel, single serving somewhere. It's, it's really interesting. It's not bad. I didn't realize I wanted a Metroid-style game where you assemble your suit piece by piece. I don't think... You're not going to, because you get the... You get like the cracked helmet or something, and and um and you get the the full suit just missing a lot of the the upgrades. But I was like, because you get the cracked helmet first, so you can actually go outside into the atmosphere. And I was like, oh my god, I need this game, you know. Like, I need, I need the game where you pick up, like, a freaking cracked helmet so you can kind of breathe in the atmosphere, and then maybe the gun arm, and then, like, maybe one of the boots or something like that. Like, assembling your thing piece by piece. Like, that's awesome. I'm a little sad that it, it seems like they're not going with that idea. At least not... Maybe they'll, maybe they'll add more to the beginning. I don't, I don't know. Um, but that's... That's really awesome. Right on. Ah, uh, well. Oh my god. Man, 
man, those things are terrible. You're gonna jump at me again? Alright, we have to go up there. What's the deal out here? Is it more of the gas stuff, or... I mean, I guess I could go this way. I, I want to go up for whatever reason. Oh, right on. Well, I guess that would be... Okay. It's very violent. All right, you. Uh. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I was like, I probably have enough. All right. Where is this thing gonna teleport to? Oh my god! Oh my god, I took two hits! some kind because I fell off the screen as I was as I was as I was dying or got hit and then it revived us but it was like no 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 let's see how this works all right I'm I'm here it didn't revive me it did the revive animation already that whatever that's fine I gotta go back there I don't want to go up there anymore how about that I hate these freaking ghosts Dude, dude, how about F you, buddy? I... Like, hate's a pretty strong word. And I didn't even attack that time, but... Whatever, that counts, I guess. The second time, I mean, for one of these guys. Dude, come on. <sighs> hey, Jack. Wow, I'm like angry Come over here my little cuteness This is a good time for a for a kitty break mm. Yes <laughs> uh, Okay, yeah Right, so now we have two guilt things. Two guilt thingamabobs. I do love you, Jack. Like that, I don't know what it is about those things. I just want to throw my controller there. Like that's... They make me angrier, and, and possibly it's the alcohol, right? Um, alcohol, I've sort of realized, makes me a little bit more emotional. Um, yeah. 
Well, I mean, that, that actually makes sense. It reduces your inhibitions, right? So my emotional inhibitors or whatnot. Um, yeah. Your butt is really nice and I like to pet it. How about that, Jack? Oh, yes. Do a little, what is this? It's like a little... You know how like some cats have like that little bite mark in their ear? Like a little chip taken out or something? He's almost got one of those. But it's because um, it's like a line. It's like a line on it. I bet it's from Manny. They were fighting earlier today. It's like Manny started walking a little bit better, and then next thing I know, they're freaking chasing each other around. Jack jumps, like Manny gets on his box to get out of the way, and Jack jumps and like kind of hits the side, and then falls onto his back. Very unelegant. Inelegant? You know, I, yeah. Oh, you are my cuteness, though, Jack. I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm breathing. Just breathing. Just breathing. Just simmering, simmering down a little bit. <sighs> you know, hmm. I'm gonna start again, like right now. But before I do, there's this game Wildermyth that I've mentioned before. If you're into... It, check it out. I, I just unilaterally recommend it because it's... It's it's basically a strategy RPG. Roguelike, kind of. Um, all the characters, none of them really carry over. They, they do, but they don't keep their stuff. They keep their equipment at a relative level, um, but that's basically it. And they can't, they keep any transformations, any or let me, when I say equipment they mean, I mean weapons. So weapons are weapons and armor. Anything else, accessories, they don't keep. Um, that's not super important. It's, a, it's like a strategy RPG, tactical RPG, whatever. It's like at the grids. Um, what is most important, though, is the writing, and it is the only game that I've ever played that has made me okay with getting older. It has some weird... It, 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 your characters, as you go through the campaign, they age. You know, it's like you finish each chapter, and then time advances by ten years. Well... You know, they defeat the boss of that conflict and then time progresses. You know, they go back to their lives and then they're a little bit older and they're like, man, why are we the ones called upon? Why isn't the, where are the new ones? Where are the, where's the youth of today? Where's the heroes? You know, why are we the ones being called upon again? You know, stuff, stuff like that. And I, I played it and just, gave me the sense of peace. It's it's pretty interesting. Check it. Wildermyth. Wildermyth. And it, in the last month, it's gotten like two or three updates. It's it's pretty crazy. It's awesome. Alright, let's go uh, hopefully not die. Ah, oh, man. My back. Sorry, you're probably going to hear some clicking and stuff. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, I was going to say they teleport near you, but I don't always think that's the case. I think it's mostly based on the... Oh, excuse me. I think they teleport to predetermined positions within the level. Within the area. Oh, did I, did I not get you? Oh, crap. Well, okay, let's try that again in a second. Man, that does a lot of damage. There goes Jack again. 
Oh, you freaking asshole. No! Really? I'm, I'm, I'm really fine. I'm kind of irritated. Really kind of irritated by this. All right, let's, oh crap, we still have another guilt fragment to get. Looks like you can hit the pot as well, which is unexpected. Um, that healed me. That is, yeah, okay. Well, all right, come on, dude. Jump. Jump at me. Come on, dude. What the French toast? No, don't grab onto the freaking ledges, you... At least there's a frickin' range, thank you. It's an... It's... My goodness. It's almost best to not flail around. I mean, flail around is in like... But that said, I kind of can't help it a lot. Wait, what is, what is teleporting? All of a sudden there was like a, I, I heard the sound and I'm like. <clears throat> oh, Jack, you're coming back? I love you, listen, but. But, okay, thank you. I mean, he's like rubbing up against my, my legs right now. Yes, Jack. Let me drink more alcohol so I can start rambling about how people die at my workplace and how upset that makes me. <laughs> Alright, seriously, you are coming back up here again? Okay, you. Come here. Oh my gosh, look at this kitten. Actually, though, so here's the thing. I know... The majority of people, even if I brought it up to the average person, the average, even the average person that watches this channel, I think, my thought is, so these, these are recorded ahead of time, usually a couple weeks before they're published. Um, and so, like when I did the Star Tropics and I got really drunk and I was ranting about how I see doctors taking advantage of people and, you know, sometimes they die as a result, right? Um, I get a little upset. The emotions come out. But I publish it anyway. You know, even though there was those, that video of those nurses on TikTok and they got fired, I mean, honestly, that was, they, they should have been because they're dumb. They did it in their freaking work scrubs with their work the hospital name right here, okay? Um, but the fact of the matter is, realness is something that is in insanely short supply these days. 
Um, to the point where I think the average person, even the average person that watches my channel, probably doesn't understand or probably doesn't um, appreciate it. And you don't you don't have to, by the way. I'm not like I'm not saying, oh, you don't appreciate my art. Nah, it's whatever. You know, you can enjoy the whichever aspects you like, you can enjoy, that's fine. But I think um, just realizing that the everything, everything is so fake these days. It is, it's insane. The food is fake. There's all these additives, the, the media you consume, the games, they're all early access and half of them are never finished. They just, they're, they're published as early access and then you buy them and the dev just is like, yeah, yeah, I'm not making this anymore. I'm done. Right? Whatever. Everything is just so fake that that moment of realness, even though it's kind of embarrassing, and, and honestly, men should be stoic, not emotional. Um, I was like, you know what? I'm going to put it up anyway. I could, sure, I could re record the whole episode if I wanted to. Star Tropics was not that long. I could go back through, get to that same point again. Um, but whatever. You know, because it's real. It's a real, it's a real thing. So, I'm just still, I'm just letting, I feel that anger. <laughs> um, but it, it's something real and that's, that's partially why I publish it. It's not, no, no. No, you're supposed to attack up. I don't know if it's my controller. All right, let's run, run back. Because that was the first, technically the second. First enemy, second enemy that I killed. Ooh, I'm leaning on Jack's tail. But, um, move his little tail out of the way. Christ, it's been like half an hour already. Um, I know I get emotional. That's one of the reasons maybe I shouldn't drink, but... Really, ninja? Oh, that alone is not enough to kill you, is it? Yeah, I think, because I hear, like, the thumbstick for this controller clicking sometimes when I move it, so I'm not sure if, like, it's maybe to the side a bit, and that, it, with the dead zones and everything, it interprets it as, um, I'm gonna keep going. Interprets it as, uh, like a forward instead of an up. Oh my god, that was poor. Yeah, the anger is bad. One of the doctors I work with, she's got a lot of anger too. And unfortunately, I think we're fairly similar. We have the same kind of anger. It's not great. I'd like to say it's something I'm working on, but honestly. Oh my god! Oh my.
You know, the guilt. Is that a percentage? Because I thought when I only had three, it seemed like it was only about half of one of those things. Now it's two thirds, three quarters, somewhere around those lines. Is it because of, is it because of this? Oh, what I need to do actually, I don't think I can teleport from these. I need to go to this thing. I would almost bet that would get rid of the guilt in the pearl as well. Which would be really interesting if it did. Also, I guess you can kind of manipulate where they teleport to. Hmm. See, I was trying to hold it there. Like, I, you dash and you hold it, but... So I was like, oh, maybe the second slash was... You, you hold it, so when you get up, you slash. Doesn't seem like that's the case. This way, do I want to go up? I don't see. Who knows? Who knows? It's like it's break. It looks like it breaks something on them. I don't quite know. Where is this thing? How do I get to it? And that candle looks significant also. All right, see, this is a problem. Dude. It's annoying because sometimes I don't want him to hang and he does and then too impatient. Where's the next teleporting mf -er? I guess we're gonna, um, leave them down there. Candle is important somehow, but I don't. Nothing happened. All right. So I need something. Do I kill these dudes? We're getting a little better at frickin' fighting those guys, I guess, but that's super painful, super painful. He grabs that automatically just being near it, which is nice. Right, where is this gonna go up and around? Probably over here. 
which means you probably want to go whatever. Don't jump while they're... As soon as I get up there, that dude's gonna... Uh, okay, that's good. Oh, you... Uh, oh my god, wow! Wow, dude. Wow. Man, this dude's super strong. Well, we'll see. We can go one of two ways. Music changed. Still the convent. If I see an enemy, I'm gonna... They're a trap. Acquired cloistered sapphire. A crystal sphere imprisoning a sapphire heart. The gem sparkles with lightning from other lands, filling the glass with a stormy light. The strange energy fills the wearer with determination, electrifying the very air around him after he performs an execution. So you do an execution and zap enemies around you, presumably. All those who have all those who have wanted to isolate themselves, all those who have freely locked themselves away as a chosen way of life, will have the blessing of the miracle. No one can serve two masters. Either you serve the miracle or you serve the world. When you are in this cloister, remember these words, sister. Serve the miracle or serve the world. All those who have freely locked themselves away as a chosen way of life will have the blessing of the miracle. So they're serving the miracle. I don't... Yeah, alright, fair enough. Really? Maybe so. Strange. Ah, oh, Jack's gone. Oh, well, he's over there. I was so intent. He must have jumped and I didn't notice it. My poor kitty. There's a, um... I bet there's something you can do with these dead bodies. And what is all this? Flowers? Can I click the Y button? Seems like no. Oh, yes. Oh, give me this, yes. Hell to the yeah. Um, yeah, see now this makes me want to see what's, what's down here. Cause like, especially, especially when you look at like this, this really, I mean, it really does remind me of the map of Symphony of the Night. Maybe I should, I mean, you have to be an NPC. De un lugar de bendiciones se me encomienda velar por vos, penitente. Así pues se ha dispuesto. From a place of blessings have I been entrusted with watching over you, penitent one. Thus it has been arranged. Mi nombre es Viridiana. Se me ha concedido un don con el que puedo asistiros con vuestra carga, si os es menester, pero solo vos debéis decidirlo. My name is Viridiana. I have been granted a gift with which I can assist you in carrying your burden if required, but only you can make that choice. What is this? Assist you in carrying your burden? Does she like take guilt? Or does she take, oh, I have enough for that, um, that thing. Penitente en el silencio. ¿Necesitaréis mi favor en vuestro siguiente cometido? Penitent one in silence, will you require my assistance with your next task? 
Or is she like, is she like a summon? Like, hey, are do you need my help killing this next boss? I'm gonna say yes, cause we'll see what happens. Descent means nothing. Ascent means nothing happens, right? Ascent, which is great that you never hear of the word ascent. We'll we'll use it though. We'll say ascent. Que así sea. So be it. I, I feel like I've done something wrong by doing that, but I want to know what she does. Teleport it away. It doesn't even look like there's a way to go through here. Oh god, this is the boss. This is the boss. It's just like a big open space. Am I ready? Man, I don't know. Um, we're gonna. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we'll 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 keep it equipped. Right, we still have to go to the top, right, to get the fill the empty golden thimble. Art of virtuous pain. It'd be nice if we had more of these. And then uh, presumably this will, well, who knows, right? We need to find another. How do we get uh, more of these? We find a second mea culpa shrine. Oh God, okay, we'll see this. That's, that's her in the background, right? Oh. Oh, oh yes. Oh, there she is. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh, it follows, does it? Um, let's... Ouch. I can't hit that thing. What do I do with her? Maybe she... I mean, she's just standing there, but... Ah. Oh. oh, what's going on? Is she healing? I don't know what she did there. I don't know if she did anything, but... Whoa! Whoa! Dente. Well, is she? Oh, she is healing. It just takes a second. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. She probably only gives you one. Though. Ouch. Well, I'm prepped. I'm prepped. Yep. Stay alive, dude. Okay, so she is not... I mean, she's some help, right? She is some, because it... she's like, I will heal you in like 10 seconds. That's something. And of course, there's, there's some guilt. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, and the the chick's gone. Oh no, she's back. Oh god. Oh, 
Oh, that hurts a lot. That hurts this thing a lot. The lady. Hurts the lady a lot. Oh, you... Well, I mean... Is, uh... Let's heal. Because I don't know... Oh, God. So what's annoying is it takes... I don't think we're gonna get the time to... Requiem Eternum. Okay, so she helped a little bit. What happened there? Wait, it's gone? There is no opening anymore. It's strange, why is it all muffled? Is this the real lady of the charred visage? Like that was her... It's interesting it doesn't give me like a boss... ...thing. Like sometimes... I don't think Symphony of the Night did it. I think it just left the room empty like this. But a lot of games were like, oh, this is where a boss was. But this is probably the real lady. And this is the actual shrine. Oh, and we're... Okay. So we're praying there. Wow, it gave us like 2,000. What is this? It's like a stone wave. Or the water turned to... The water turned to stone? There's like a bunch of dudes on it. Like what is... Where are we? Map not available. All right, I guess we go to the... Penitente! I guess we go to the, the right. I wanted to try going off the edge to the left, but... That's fine. Oh. Wow, you're... Cool. Grotesque. You're like, I mean, there's only a little bit of skin left on your skull. I guess we talk to it. En nombre del suplicio mayor y de los hijos del milagro. In the name of the great ordeal and the sons of the miracle. The Great Ordeal. Is that what we're doing? Is that the pilgrimage? Al humillaros ante mi santo cuerpo, se os ha concedido la presencia de mi rostro dorado, custodio de uno de los tres dolores del alma en penitencia. Okay. When you humbled yourself before my most holy body, you have been granted the presence of my golden visage. Custodian of one of the three sorrows of the soul in penance. So this is not... Well, I mean, I guess it would make sense. What we kneeled in front of was the face. It was like a... It was a person missing its face, and this is the face. I thought that was the body of the Lady of the Charred Visage, but I don't think that's the case anymore. Also, we were looking for three sorrows. 
um, or three hum humiliations or something like that. And this is presumably one of them. Or we get one of them. But that's the weird thing. I don't... I mean, originally I was like, well, that doesn't sound super great, but... Penance makes you stronger. And if you read something like... Um, Dante's Divine Comedy, not... Like, Dante's Inferno is the most notable one where he goes through hell. Uh, but there's actually three books. There's the uh, Inferno... Whatever... What's the middle area? Purgatory. It's like Purgatorio and then Paradiso for Paradise. Um, Purgatory is very similar to Hell because people are being tortured in order to become pure enough to get to God. Like there's people with like their faces like sewn shut with piano wire. Like it is not a nice place. It's just they're not in hell. They're not in paradise. And so it's pretty rough. So, you know, originally I was like, oh, the three sorrows, oh, those are going to cripple us or do something. But no, they're probably going to make us much stronger. They, they should cripple us, but it's like, here, stab this sword through you, like the Lady of the Six Blades or whatever, and then we took one of her swords and that made us stronger. I'm actually half surprised he doesn't like, he didn't take the sword and like stab it through himself. You know, so he's running around with the more swords he has sticking out of him, the stronger he becomes, but I don't know. Nuestro milagro me ha elegido de entre todos los piadosos, así como a vos para caminar sobre este sagrado mar. Our miracle has chosen me amongst all the pious, just as it chose you to walk on this sacred sea. Que el oro de mi rostro derrita y borre la compunción de vuestra alma. Okay. May the gold in my visage melt and erase the compunction of your soul. What is compunction? Um, but charred visage, same thing, right? Because melted gold on your face. Um, compunction. I don't. I don't remember. Compunction. A feeling of guilt or moral scruple that prevents or follows the doing of something bad. Spend the money without compunction. Synonyms, scruples, misgivings, qualms, worries, unease, uneasiness, hesitation, hesitancy, doubts, reluctance, reservations, guilt, feelings of guilt, guilty conscience, pangs slash twinges of conscience, remorse, remorse. Sorry, that was remorse. <sighs> Regret, contrition, contriteness, self-reproach, repentance, penitence. Cool. Corazón de la culpa, regresada hora del sueño. Corazón de culpa, or whatever it was. Corazón is heart, culpa, mea culpa, my guilt. Heart of guilt, return now from the dream. You've acquired holy wound of compunction and it's like a head in a bag. Convert, convent. Strangely, I thought for a second, I thought these statues when I wasn't really paying attention, um, I thought they were hands. Kind of like the boss we just fought, right? With the, the head and the hands. Also, Zelda. When, uh, when did the Zelda boss with the head and the hands first start appearing? Not till, not till the N64 days, right? Because Super Nintendo, I don't remember a boss with a head and two hands, but I mean, it could be, I just don't remember. All right. Holy wound of compunction, holy wound of guilt. Mark left by the golden visage that reveals the cleanliness of compunction in the soul of the penitent one. Neat, oh lore. Santo Credo, verse 3. Saint. Santo, I believe, is saint, and Credo is creed. 
The door to the mother will open if the three wounds were to be joined together, right? We're looking for the mother of mothers. The mother would suffer a crack, the enclosure would end up broken, and the forbidden would be profaned. Interesting. So it is interesting, right? Because the miracle is choosing us, so to speak, and the religion is what we're up against. Which, I mean, also could be... Oh, what is this? Oh, is this the oil? You've acquired golden thimble filled with burning oil. Thimble adorned with gold, carrying an inscription that reads, only cold gold can carry the redeeming oil. Uh, yep. Burned her face with boiling. Oh, okay, right on. A village, young villager named Aurea had such a beautiful and pious face. Even as a child, statue sculptors took her as a model for their creations. We've read this already, but it's the lady of the charred visage, right? Her face became so recognizable, little by little, people took her as the living, breathing image of divinity till it reached a point where they ended up taking her out on procession, even replacing their own images. I don't know what that means. It sounds crazy, though. Images, presumably not their faces. They mean images as in, like, their paintings and stuff. Like, they have a painting of Jesus. They replaced it with her. Such was the fervor around her, she could not bear to be mistaken with the divinity and burned her face with boiling oil to gift her pious beauty to God, took up the habits of a convent. That makes a lot more sense. This is still... says it's opened, but let's keep going this way just to see. Hey, buddy! I mean, you know, sort of. Habéis realizado... La primera humillación de penitencia. De penitencia. You have carried out the first humiliation of penance. Se os ha permitido presenciar el rostro de la compunción. You have been allowed to behold the visage of compunction. Os quedan dos santos rostros a los que postraros. You have yet to prostrate before two last holy visages. How do you pronounce that appropriately? Pesaroso corazón sea penitente. Sorrowful be the heart penitent one. That's a long ass ladder. Um, I guess we go down and go over here, huh? What uh what's what's this area? Right on. The virtue of mea culpa hath ascended. All right, right on. So we get fervorous blood, sacred technique that allows the bearer of mea culpa to use the cut of its blade to bless his own blood, turning into a throwing weapon. It consumes fervor. Press B to use a ranged attack. Sacred lunge perfects the lunge technique, mash it, makes it even better, makes even better use of the dodge impulse, making you reach farther. Yeah. 2300 2000 for this Jesus Christ 7000 ascending edge the penitent one performs an upward slash as combo finisher press up and X after a full three hit combo so instead of the fourth one you do like a you throw him up into the air maybe that's 7000 we we honestly probably probably the best thing to do is get the range attack because there's some of those little angels the cherubs or whatever that uh you could probably only hit or or uh maybe here that you need to shoot to go higher so um yeah okay let's let's we're gonna upgrade this bam um and then uh, makes it reach farther. We'll we'll upgrade this too. Why not? Boom. Yeah, we don't have enough for that. That's that's fine. Oh yeah, the blade does look bigger. I don't know if the dash itself is better or farther. That might be, but yeah, we'll uh, just in case because we gotta go back, right? Cool. 
cool. We want to get back to... Crap. No, no, no. We want to go down. Oh, yeah. Oh! Alright. Yeah, we gotta... Uh, we have to stop. This way. Noise. All right. Well, it's interesting that we haven't. There's the areas of the gas. We should still go this way, I think. But uh, the gas areas, we can't do anything with. And then whatever. This is the candle. We can't do anything with that either. Is our, uh, is our health a little bit better, or did I just not, was I not paying attention, I guess? Um, either way, guys, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent, let me hear them. I do read all of them. I do, uh, respond to all of them, or at least I try to. It, um, usually takes me a couple days, at least, because work laziness tiredness whatever you want to say um usually just one of those things with everyone's like oh the internet is instant communication i need to be on, on online all the time and blah, blah blah and i'm just like nah nah if you leave a comment i do read it i do get back to it but i'm like i don't check my stuff every day why no it's best for the mental health um what is your guys' unique puzzle moment for today? For me, it's actually going to be, I mentioned the Wildermyth game. Uh, definitely check that out. I, I I recommend it, especially as someone that is getting older. Uh, it's, like I said, it's the only game I've found that has actually kind of made me feel okay with getting older. And it's really fun, also. It's, it's great writing. Uh, just has a great style. It's, I like it. Uh, but that's my unique puzzle moment. Hopefully you guys just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys. Take care.